Hey everybody, I'm Ted Thomas and this is a CodeFling tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to add the caves that are in the game inside of your own maps and also how to create your own custom caves or areas under the terrain. Let's start off with one of the caves that are already in the game. So let's go to the prefab list and let's search for cave. Let's get a small, easy cave for now because I don't have too much space in this area. And then let's just position the entrance the way we want to. So in this case, I would like it away from the main road. Let's move it a little bit over and snap it to the terrain. Then let's apply the height mask and let's see if it totally messes everything up, which doesn't seem to be the case, which is always nice. Then let's apply the alpha, which will remove the terrain inside of the hole. Let's add the splat, which will add the textures around the cave. And then let's also add the topology. So everything works and behaves as we expect it. What about if you would want to add your own area under the terrain? Let's find an area in the mountains. This looks good. Let's delete this rock and let's add some sort of door or I usually use the gate without the doors. And we're going to position that inside of the terrain. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, pressing Ctrl R to get the scale tool. Make it wider, make it slightly taller as well. Move it into the terrain and even more into the terrain. Let's see how wide this beam is. And let's move the middle beam into the terrain. And now what we can do is go into the terrain tool, take the flatten tool and it says here, hold control and right click to sample the target height. So I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller so it's not totally blocking my view which apparently it still is so i'm holding right click and trying to click here i did it twice at this height and now i can make the rest of the floor all the same height and this hopefully will give me a pretty straight area for me to remove the terrain yeah, let's do one more. So this is good. And then I want to go into the terrain painter, go into the alpha, which is basically saying transparency, take the smallest brush size and remove the terrain inside of the door. Now I definitely want to check up here and it seems like we got pretty lucky. It didn't remove the terrain up here. If that is the case, you want to go search for some sort of rock or something and just block it so people cannot look or go inside of the terrain. Sometimes even the smallest size of this, you can see it it's already goes above the area we need. It just doesn't go far enough to also do this, which is kind of what I mean. So if you have a part above here, block it off with a rock or some sort of prefab and make sure that it, it doesn't break your map. And now we also want to add something on the floor. So we'll probably use some sort of slab. Just make it a little bit bigger. If you don't like the stretched texture look, don't make it this big and use multiple. But that will also up the prefab count, which might add more lag. And now we basically have our entrance. You can make this as big as we want. But you got to keep in mind that you basically have to enclose everything. Because as you can see, the terrain is not meant to be seen from the bottom, so you can see straight through it. And this really breaks the immersion and also breaks the game. Because if someone would walk up here, you would be able to see them. And that is a massive advantage. So you have to go around with, once again, rocks or any prefabs. You can, of course, use anything you want. I usually use rocks. So let's make them bigger. Move it over. There you go, that's way better. Make it taller. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Move this, rotate this slightly. So I'll just quickly finish this. If you use the same rocks over and over, this doesn't look too bad in my mind. What you can do is take different rocks. Let's look for something. And just put them in between to kind of break the pattern. If you do that enough, 
um, in ways that make sense, you're still breaking the pattern and you can still really quickly generate your own caves. So let's get this one and let's duplicate it, move it over, make it massive. Uh, let's make it flat, rotate it. Move it up, make it bigger. It's not sticking through the terrain, so that's good. Is it fully blocking everything? Seems like it. No, it's not. So I have to put something over here, do some rotation to break the pattern again, even though I'm using the same rocks. It should look slightly different if I use different heights, etc. And now it kind of blocks everything. So this is where you really have to go in and check if everything is as blocked as you thought it was. This looks pretty bad, but yeah. Put more time into blocking everything off, but this is to get the concept. You will have to make your own fully encompassed areas. Let's do some fix-ups quickly. Let's go to the terrain painter. Alpha. There's a little thing here in the corner that I want to remove. And I saw that this wasn't really lining up properly. So we should still have the same height selected in our tool. Let's raise this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That's way too big. Let's raise this to the proper height. And then let's just smooth this out. Once again, spend more time on this to make it look better. But this at least fixes our height issue. Now we have a smooth entrance. We could lower this if we want to, but I'll leave it like this. Even though we cannot see the terrain, you can see here that even if we go over, if we go over it with our tool, the terrain is still there. So we need to tell the game that we actually want to completely remove the terrain and not just not show it or make it invisible with the alpha. So what we have to do is go into the prefabs and then either search for it. I'll show you where the category is. We're going to go to assets, bundled, prefab, and then go into modding. Instead of the volumes and triggers, we are looking for the terrain trigger. So that's this one. And we will get a cube. And we have to make sure that, first of all, we basically splice the terrain with the cube. And that will allow people to go through the terrain. That's one thing that it does. But also, if people are inside of it, it will keep them alive. So if I would keep it like this, you would, let's see, actually, if we are splicing the terrain. So let's use the beam as a lineup, kind of. Make sure we are a little bit before. Let's make it bigger. So let's go a little bit before. Something like this should be good. Also, this is why we use the slab, because if we would do this and there would be a normal terrain, people would walk in and fall through the terrain. That's not what we want. So we want to make sure that we have the slab or some sort of prefab as floor. And then we want to make sure that anywhere where people are going to be able to go inside is completely enclosed with a terrain trigger. I'm going to duplicate this, put it kind of in the middle and just make it way bigger. Something like this. Make sure that it goes into the other one which it doesn't seem to do right now. Let's center the gizmo. Let's make it bigger. And now it does overlap. Make sure that we have the back covered, which we do. And also the top. We don't, so let's make sure we have the top as well and make sure we don't clip through the terrain and have people th fall through this because that is also pretty game breaking. You really got to make sure of what you are adding the terrain trigger to. We are not clipping through any terrain here. No, oh, should be good. Now we have our own cave where people are able to go through the terrain and actually survive because they are inside of the terrain trigger. This is a little bit wonky now. So let's move this down. Once again, something that I almost missed. <laughs> so yeah, you really want to go around and keep making sure that all the changes that you make didn't break something else. I'm going to save this 
open it up on my server and let's look in game if it works and what it looks like. So here we are in game at our gate. Bro looks good. And then when we go inside, it should get dark. But we don't die. They might want to add something under here. And this is also why it's good to go in game and actually check that everything in game feels and is as you think it is in the editor. Hopefully this was helpful. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your custom maps.